Hey, what's up coach? Welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm going to be walking through an idea with you. This is something I've already helped multiple coaches with uh, over the past five years. If you are looking to start a sports league, um, watch this video all the way through. I'm gonna give you some really good information here. Um, and I'm just gonna walk through a very simple spreadsheet that will address, you know, the, I would say the business model uh, behind this idea. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen here and follow along with me. And if you have any questions about this, send me a text at 210-960-5771. Love to help out. Now, this model here is very specific, all right? I'm gonna walk through this and I want to make sure you can take notes. If you want this spreadsheet, um, just comment below and I'll make sure and I'll email it to you um, if you want it. Now, this is based off of a model of having um, either like a, a small sided soccer event. Um, so this could be a, you know, a three on three or four on four uh, or five on five. Uh, type of thing. It could be like that in soccer. It could be like that in basketball. Uh, there's many other types of league opportunities in other sports. So you can kind of take this and model it. I'm not going to say the pricing is going to be uniform for everyone, um, but I've seen this happen multiple times in soccer and in basketball over the past couple of years. And yeah, that's why I want to go through this. So first thing here is cost per team. Now I have here $500. Now the reason why it's 500 is it's set up to where one parent pays, so one person pays, and then the other parents of that team just pay them back. Um, and it's not going to be cost per parent, it's gonna be cost per team. So this way you have a registration form that collects the $500 upfront from the team and then that parent is responsible for getting the other parents to pay them back. This way you're not dealing with thousands of payments here. You're dealing with one payment per team. Uh, next is length of season is eight weeks. Um, the reason why I like this is because you can run multiple seasons throughout the year. Uh, and you could have a lot of those same teams participate throughout many of those seasons during the year. This way you're not having to constantly find new teams. Um, you could sell an annual membership. Um, I can tell you more about that if you wanted to get on a call with me. I'm not gonna really talk about that here. Uh, next here is we have 40 teams. So if we do the math, we take 500 times 40, that's $20,000 of revenue, right? And then we break down, these are kind of like the logistics of how you can set it up. Um, so the games per hour, that's going to be four games per hour. So that means every 30 minutes, there's two games going on, right? So I just want you to imagine at eight o'clock in the morning, there is uh, team A is playing against team B, all right? Same time, team C is playing against C, uh, team D. So you have four games, or sorry, four teams playing uh, per 30 minutes. All right. So these games are 30 minutes long. They're in and they're out. Um, so that means teams played per hour is eight, right? So you can run through a lot of games, um, doing it this way. You can have a lot of teams play every single hour. So with this model, all right, if we just do the simple math, we have 40 teams, all right? There's eight teams that can play per hour. All right. So that means we need five hours of rent. All right. Now that could be either you running this out of your own facility. If you have to do that, then, I mean, you already own your facility or you're already leasing your facility, however it's set up. Um, this can happen on one day per week. And I've seen this be very successful with coaches out there who can do it like all on a Sunday or all on a Friday. So you have a set day. And then that when the season gets announced, every parent gets a schedule so they know, all right, on Sunday, this is what we're doing over the next eight weeks. And here's when our game is. So that's all like mapped out, right? So you have that set up. So you know every uh, 
you know, I'm just going to use Sunday as an example. Every Sunday, there's five hours needed, right? So that means every day that you're at the facility or if you're paying for rent, right? And I'm just using 100 an hour as an, an example. It could be more. It could be way less. I've seen some people who can get uh, a gym for way less than $100 an hour. I've seen some people do this like at schools um, or at local parks, like you, you could do this without paying any rent. I mean, that's going to be up to you. Uh, so with this model here, all right, the total overhead for eight weeks, all right, plus we have refs, all right? You're going to have to pay refs. I don't think you're going to be the one who's wanting to ref every game. Uh, it's going to be 4,000 for rent. All right. So the way I came up with that number is we take the cost of rent, which is hundred per hour times five. Um, that's $500 per day. All right. And then we're going to multiply that times eight. All right. There's eight weeks. So 500 times eight, four grand uh, for rent and the, the cost for the refs. So that's going to be your overhead. Right. And I'm assuming like if you already have a business, you already have insurance. All right. Then I have here, actually, I'll talk about this in a second. So if you have, if you run six seasons per year, so that means these seasons last eight weeks, right? So every eight weeks you run season. So that means you'd be running uh, six seasons per year. So if you run six seasons per year with this model and you don't change anything, all right, you're doing 120 K in revenue minus the overhead, right? And you see here in purple, it says recoup the overhead with upsells. So like, if you know you're going to be spending money on rent, then we need to find creative ways to make more money through the people who are signing up. All right. I have like a list of a thousand on my end, but I just wanted to give you two simple ones here. So the first one is a shirt. So you could make it mandatory, um, either once per year or once every six months, whoever is signing up for this, they have to buy a shirt. And that is the shirt that they wear to every game. So you could uh, partner with a t-shirt company, um, have those shirts done, get them, get them done for a very low cost, and then flip them and sell them between $20 and $30 per shirt. And that becomes like the jersey that they wear, right? And that's a really good idea because that way, like that team doesn't have to go spend more money on uniforms, right? So that could be... I would say between 20 and $30 per shirt. And then you do that multiplied times the amount of kids that are signed up. You can make thousands of dollars doing that. Uh, the other thing you can do is during the year, you can run tournaments, right? So there might be some teams who are like uh, wanting to sign up in January and February, but they can't sign up in March and April because they're too busy, but they have a weekend free in March that they would love to do a tournament. So again, you can come back to them and say, Hey, we're putting on this tournament. Uh, and that could be perfect for people who want more or people who just can't make it every single month. So again, this is going to be something you can uh, create more revenue and these sort of things recoup the overhead, right? So this, this overhead starts to go down when we start doing things like this, you could do, I'll give you a few more ideas. You could do birthday parties. You could have an upsell towards training. Um, you could have another trainer or you could have someone who's going to rent out the space. Who's just doing training. Uh, you could figure out an affiliate deal with them to where every single kid that you refer, they're paying you a certain amount uh, and they're paying the rent. So like you're, you can make money off of that. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do, but I wanted to come on here and share this. I've seen this work very well with people who already have an audience or they're really good at building an audience. And if they're really organized, this type of business can be very, very successful. And I, I want this to be very clear though, right? To expect that you're going to have it set up like this in year one is I, I don't think is very realistic unless you already have a big audience. Um, I also think that this is something that's on the, on the very low end. Um, if you do this for multiple years, because you could have this set up way different than what I'm talking about. You could have 
uh, games per hour, you could have, uh, you know, 10 games per hour. If you have a huge facility, if you're running a huge facility, uh, that means you could have way more teams play per hour. So, you know, like you could run through so many more games uh, per hour. Uh, you don't need the, the plays for as long. Um, you could probably pay the refs a little bit more, a little bit less. Uh, the length of the season could be 12 weeks um, and it could be way more for the cost per team. Um, or you could have it, it's just, a, you know, it's a 30 day thing. Like there's a lot of different ways you can do this. What I recommend is if you're watching this and you're like, all right, this looks really cool. Like if you want to chat with me about it, uh, just shoot me a text 210-960-5771. I'd love to see how I can help you. That's it for today's video. If you like this type of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel. I'm going to be posting a lot of these types of ideas on YouTube. And I'm only going to be posting things that I know that I've already seen that have worked with coaches that we've mentored or coaches that I've talked to over the past five, six years um, who are running successful sports businesses. So that's it. Uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet, and I'll see you later.